Wait. Wait. No. 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 Oh. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> bro. Oh. 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 The boy almost lost it. What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back again with another video. Shout out to everyone that was part of the Monday Night Raw live stream. You guys always make the show better. If you guys were watching the stream, y'all know I don't really feel too well right now. I'm kind of under the weather, um, and I was feeling bad during the actual stream itself. Uh, but I had to come on here to talk my shit. Everybody that was on the Jinder Mahal train, the Jinder Mahal hype train, all y'all that thought Jinder Mahal was going to win that match tonight against Seth Rollins in the main event. How you feel? Is the gender hype train over now? Do we move past the gender hype train now? Can we move on to something else? I don't know. The match itself, it was okay. It's not a match I'm going to ever remember. Does it feel like it was... Uh, a main event match the social media aspect made it feel like it was a, a main event match but on paper it still didn't feel like a main event match didn't matter that he had his uh his uh homies out there with him the whole situation with uh damian priest being out there i think they kind of took their hand on that one him being out there towards the beginning of the match and sitting at ringside i think that was a little bit too heavy-handed I think you should have pulled him out towards like the ending of the match when things are starting to go awry. And then you could have pulled out Drew McIntyre because you kind of take everything from the actual match. No one's really, people are focusing on the match, but people are also worried what's Damian Priest going to do. So I think it would have been better to not have him seen there until he was like right about to cash in. So that's the only thing I probably would have did differently. Um, the match itself was okay. It, it wasn't anything, like I said, that I'm going to go back and go, oh, got to watch this Jinder Mahal match. No, I'm not. Um, towards the end, they picked up with the heel shenanigans. And there was a good false finish that literally almost ha made my heart drop. There was a false finish that involved uh, one of Jinder's uh, uh, cronies picking up the money in the bank briefcase while the referee was distac uh, distracted. And this is after drew and uh damian priest get into it so they're fighting to the back and then he hits seth rollins with the money in the bank briefcase and then uh gender i believe he hits him with his uh finisher and i'm like wait a minute no wait no 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 i at that moment i thought it was over i legit thought that was a good false finish i'll give them that but he kicked out and once he kicked out of that then i was like oh it's over and, of course, the referee is distracted. He throws Jinder's cronies out. And that's when Seth Rollins hit the stump for the one, two, three. And that was it. Like I said, the hype for this match was more entertaining than the actual match it was. Uh, the actual main event. I didn't really care. I, I thought there was a lot better matches on this card for sure than what we saw. Hell, the DIY match, that tag team match, was really pretty good. I, I enjoyed that Uh that tag team match they had tonight. I was they they let them go out there and kind of wrestle. So that was pretty entertaining. They got it. This is awesome shit. And you know, so I, I will say it was an okay match. It wasn't it wasn't trash. I'm not gonna trash it. It was okay, but it's not something I'm gonna remember to be honest with you. And that's because I just don't care about Jinder's character. I've never cared about his character because WWE's never really cared about his character. Not much really. So comment down below let me know how y'all felt about that match did y'all enjoy that match did y'all um think the match was a for whatever reason a five-star classic or did y'all think that match was kind of mid or did you think the match was awful um also where do you think they go with seth rollins i hope it's not another rematch with gender god no but where do you think they go with seth rollins going into the royal rumble what match does he have with someone that people may care about because honestly, they only have one week left, so I don't know. Maybe it is gender again, and if so, good God, no. But we'll see. 
Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, but I'm about to go lay down, man. I know my video's not normally this short, but I'm just not feeling the best. Uh, if I'm feeling well tomorrow, I will try to get y'all some more content tomorrow. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still here to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.